Hey, what's up? This is Dan from Cheap Living again over in St. Pete, Florida, and I got another video for you. And actually, it's all about chicken again this time, and I'm making chicken stew. That's right, chicken stew. One of the oldest recipes on the planet. So, uh, take a look at how I do it, and I think I make the best chicken stew. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's have some fun. All right, so right here I have those uh, chicken wings, chicken legs, and some uh, chicken thighs. They're all bone in. And uh, what I did with them is I I butchered some of the skin off of them, and I washed them off really, really good. Then I stuck them in my freezer. So uh, as you can see, like I, I butcher a lot of skin. Some of the uh, the legs just really weren't in that good a shape. I mean, so the, the skin was already peeled back anyway. So what I did was, is I got a little pot of water over here, and I have all that skin and excess meat in it, and I'm making a chicken stock. And we have a little bit bigger of a pot this time around, and uh, we're going to sear this chicken breast off. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some oil. Chicken bag out of the way. And this is my herb blend. Again, I made just made a brand new batch last night. Showing you my recipe for it, and we're going to add my herb blend to it. Add a good amount. I'm going to really dig in here and get those seasonings in here. And again, my chicken is extreme. My excuse me, my chicken, my uh, sink is extremely clean, completely sterilized. So uh, anything that I put in my sink, I know I'm not going to have any issues with. So. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. So, I'm getting my herb blend all over this this chicken here. Like I said, with a good amount, I want to give it a good rub. Make sure that chicken is nice and flavorful. So, we're using a bigger pot this time around. I, uh, I bought this pot at, um, I believe it was Salvation Army for like around, I think it was like three bucks or something like that. And unfortunately it doesn't have a nice thick bottom. So I bought a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree to give it a little bit more metal on the bottom and conduct the heat a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we put some uh, oil in there. It's been sitting on the burner for a minute. And we're going to sear this uh, all these chicken pieces off. So let's do that. And we're going to turn them nice and brown. We're going to seal all these chicken pieces off. And I will get back to you as soon as this chicken is nice and golden brown. All right, so I just browned off all those chicken and took it out of the pot. That's what the bottom of the pot looks like. Let's see if I can uh, turn my light on. That's what the bottom of the pot looks like. And this is a mirepoix that's uh, carrots, onions, and celery. And we're going to add this mirepoix right in there. And we're going to do the same with all mirepoix, and we're going to cook, cook it down and saute it, and it's going to be golden brown and should be loosened. See you guys in a few. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in about a tablespoon of garlic, and we're going to sweat that and saute down that with the vegetables. And then we have these awesome... Red and uh, Yukon potatoes 
That we're going to add to it as soon as that garlic is sauteed down a little bit. All right, so now that that mirepoix is cooked down, we are going to add our chicken. And we are going to add our chicken right in there, right on the bone. So it looks something like that. And there's a reason why you leave it on the bone, which is all those flavors. And next what you want to do is, so again, Dollar Tree, Kendall Farms Chicken Broth. And you want to add at least two of them. I don't know why it's coming out so slow. This one I opened it up right. Alright. And this is number two. So we're going to add a second one. So I've seen chicken broth at Walmart and Publix going for between three and five dollars each for these containers. Not the same brand, of course, but at the Dollar Tree, you get them for a buck. So, makes all the difference. And they are also MSG free and gluten free. So, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to add one to two tablespoons of chicken base. So the chicken base I buy at GFS, it's the same brand as the uh, the beef base that's in one of my other previous videos, in my Coco Vin video. And uh, that's it. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to let that cook down just a little bit. So what we have here is a pot of all that fat from the excess uh, pieces from when I butchered up that chicken. We made a little bit of chicken broth in it and I put a strainer up here on top of this uh, awesome chicken stew and then I'm just going to take this pot and I'm going to pour it right in here right off the stove after it's been cooking probably for about two hours and I'm going to put this awesome chicken broth right in here and add it to the chicken stew there you go oh yeah it's going to be so awesome All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add my herb blend. Got to find it. So we're going to add in about two tablespoons, maybe two and a half of my herb blend. So then we just added a little bit of cracked pepper and some kosher salt. And we're going to stir this up from the bottom. You see that steam starting to come up. This is going to be such a good chicken stew. Oh my god. It's a lot of food right there, isn't it? You want to come over and eat dinner with me? You can if you want. And then we're going to put a lid on it. We're going to bring this to a hard boil. Let it hard boil for at least five minutes. And then we're going to bring it down to a simmer, slightly bubbling. And we're going to let it cook for about three hours. All right, so look at this awesome chicken stew is coming along very, very nicely. Now that you can see that the uh, the chicken is just falling off the bone, what we next our next step is is that we're going to go through this pot and we're going to try to take out almost all of the bones and the cartilage that falls off. So I will get back to you as soon as I'm done with that. And I will show you the next step after I take all the bones and cartilage out. Alright, so the next step is what I have here is some lentils. And I say this is about two and a half, eh, maybe about three cups of lentils. And I wash them off very vigorously. You want to wash your lentils off before you use them. Because there might be dirt, sand, grit, and or rocks inside. And uh, just pour all those lentils right in there. Give it a stir. And cook those lentils right in there. So delicious. Looks so good. Alright, so it came back to a boil. I was just steaming good. I'm going to turn the heat down. And as you can see, I separated the bones from all of that meat and we're going to take all of this meat 
Now we're going to put it right back in this chicken stew. You're going to let it cook for about 20 minutes, 20 more minutes, and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, are you ready for some super delicious chicken stew? Tell you, this came out great. I already had two bowls. Let's check this out. There you go. There's the money shot. That looks so delicious. It is so delicious. Like I said, I already had two bowls of it. It is so friggin' good. Oh, by the way, this little stew bowl that I got is uh, from the Dollar Tree. So they're actually really, really cool, and they hold a lot. So, but yeah, that's, it came out super delicious, way better than I thought it did. Anyway, so, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I'm bringing you, enjoy the content. Say hi, say what's up, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, so... You guys keep on doing what you're doing out there in YouTube land and watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. And thank you for letting me do this for you.